Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first of three unboxings that I'm going to do from my trip to London and Paris. So if you haven't checked out those vlogs, I will uh, link the playlist up above and in the description box below. So please go check those out before you watch this unboxing. So that way you'll have a little flavor of maybe what I might have picked up. So if you wanna see the first part of what I got on my trip, then stay tuned. So before I get into the reveal of the first couple of items that I purchased on my trip, I wanna talk a little bit about my trip and what I took. So obviously, as you know, I was trying to pack very lightly and I only took two pair of shoes, which were two pair of sneakers. Because to be honest with you, when you're going on a trip and you are thinking about walking, you know, thousands and thousands of steps, you wanna make sure you are comfortable. And because of that, those were the shoes that I chose because I just don't feel that comfortable taking perhaps some of my other flats or loafers or anything like that and not risk getting blisters. So with that, I want to introduce you to some shoes that I wish I had received before I went on my trip. And those are some shoes from Vivaya. So if you're not familiar with Vivaya, they are a great chic brand of footwear that is solely focused on comfort, style, and sustainability. All of their products are made by using recycled materials. In fact, each pair of shoes uses six water bottles that have been you know, reclaimed from the ocean floor, et cetera, and recycled into these fantastic designs that I'm gonna show you now. So the first pair of shoes that I selected was the Aria 5 Pointed Toe Ballet Flat. Now, these are just, I mean, like look at the flexibility on these. This is the pair that I have worn the most so far. I have worn this several days while walking in New York and have had absolutely no problems. One of the things I love is it has this padding back here. The other thing I liked is obviously they've got these rubberized, you know, non-slip sole, which again, when you're doing a lot of walking in the city really, really helps. So this is the insole that comes in the shoe and you can see there's a good amount of arch support there and they are extremely padded. In fact, Vivaya has recently redesigned their insoles to add additional padding. So like I said, they are so, so comfortable. And honestly, I chose this color because it goes with everything. And, you know, I've worn it with skirts. I've worn it with jeans. They're just a really great pair of shoes. I really love the pointed toe aspect of this one, although they do have versions of this in more of like a square toe and more of a round toe. So whatever kind of toe shape you prefer, they have. But one of the things that I shy away from when it comes to flat is because of it's in the name, right? They're flats. And so there generally isn't a lot of support, which you saw obviously in that insole, there's a lot of arch support, which is great. But also there is a, just the slightest bit of a heel on it. And because of that, it really makes them easy to walk in and very, very comfortable. Absolute 100% flats just they don't work for me and that's why I generally don't buy them because they're not the most comfortable shoe for me to walk in. But these have been amazing. The next pair that I got is called the Melissa Boot and this, I got it in the all black and you can see this is their like 3D knitted technology. Again, it's really comfortable. It is very, very stretchy, so easy to get on and off. I love the shape of this heel. I think it's really cool and architectural and sculptural and just really makes a statement. I love this style of boot. Like I said, it is super easy to wear, very, very comfortable. Again, even for having, you know, a little more of a, of a boot style, they're still flexible and really easy to walk in. I love the tab on the back. Like I said, it just makes getting them on and off that much easier, but I love the style. I actually have a pop-up right now. I think that just opened yesterday in New York. So I will be taking you there. Coincidentally, this had absolutely, I had no idea they were doing this pop-up, but I got an email about it. So we're definitely gonna go check that out in an upcoming vlog. So make sure you're subscribed so you can check out what they have in person. And I will be very excited to be able to try on other styles that they have in person. 
Here is the last pair. Like I said, I have not had a chance to wear these out of the house yet. I've worn them, you know, around the apartment, but I haven't had a chance to road test them per se. These are the Tracy Pro, and you can see, like I said, how nicely they come packaged. That's the code there on the back that they have, you know, really nicely printed. They even have a sticker on it. I got the ones in the almond and black. And again, this is just such a classic shoe. I love, again, this kind of architectural heel. Again, non-slip sole, which is great, especially when you're walking outside. They've got these inside so that they, you know, come really nicely, like I said, packaged. And again, this super squishy insole that just makes everything so comfortable. And again, that padding on the back, like I said, which just... You know, if you're doing a lot of walking, the last thing you want is for the, your heel to be, the heel of the shoe to be rubbing on the heel of your foot and causing blisters. And because of this padding, it just does not happen. They fit fantastic. Like I said, I love that there's, you know, a little bit of give, a little bit of stretch. These are super flexible. So really easy to walk in. The height for me is perfect, especially when you're talking about a shoe that you're going to be doing a lot of walking in. This height, which, you know, I'm guessing is about eh, maybe close to two inches, is really like the perfect height for city walking. So if you are interested in any of these shoes or any of the shoes that Vivaya has, make sure you use my discount code that's on the screen here, as well as in the description box below for 12% off any of your purchases. They do offer free shipping and a 30-day exchange return policy. So they are super easy to buy from. My shoes came, you know, within probably no more than a week after I ordered them. And I am just thrilled to have them. And like I said, I wish I had had them to take on my trip because I think especially those the almond colored flats that I bought, ballet flats, would have been the perfect addition to the shoe collection that I brought with me on my trip. So next time, you'll come with me. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and I love to do videos on luxury handbags, shoes, ready to wear. I love to do some styling videos and I do those things from the perspective of someone who is in the middle of her life as well as someone who is mid-sized. So if that sounds interesting to you, come join us here. Click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. All right, so now that you have seen some fantastic shoes, let's unbox or unveil some bags that would go fantastically with those. So the first bag that I am going to show you came in this dust bag, a very big dust bag. In fact, you can barely see me. Uh, the reason why the bag's not in there is because I'm actually using it right now. I was using it the other day when I was running errands and my stuff is still in it. So let me talk a little bit about Moreau Pelli. So that is their what their brand looks like. If you missed the video that I did on some sort of, I don't wanna say really necessarily quiet luxury, but lesser known heritage European brands, I will link that video up above for you to watch. But one of the brands that I talked about was Moreau Paris. Now, Moreau Paris started like a lot of the French heritage brands as a trunk making or you know travel making company. They had an initial start making more like cabinets and things like that. And then in, I believe, 1808, they were commissioned by Napoleon to make start making trunks for him, as well as other like royalty dignitaries that he wanted to gift them to. And then in 1882, Moreau Pelli opened their first boutique and it still exists there today on Faubourg Saint Honoré in Paris. So that is where I went to get this particular bag. They do have a few boutiques across Europe, but they're definitely not as well known as, you know, some of the other heritage luxury French brands like Louis Vuitton and even Goyard. Uh, but I think that what they do is absolutely fantastic, especially for what 
I was looking for. So if you watched my Paris wish list video, that's hard to say, <laughs> I will uh, make sure to link it above. Again, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. This was an item that I was looking for. So I was specifically looking for a travel tote while I was in Paris. And many of the heritage French brands, again, do a version of this bag. So I'm sure everyone is very aware of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It's been around since I think the early 2000s, maybe 2007, something like that. And, you know, it is a very, very popular bag, which has gone up in price a lot. So the current GM Neverfull, for example, in the United States retails for $2,100 plus tax. So that means in the United States, like in New York, it's going to run you close to $2,300 when all is said and done after you add the tax. Uh, Goyard has the St. Louis tote. Moina does a version that they call the O. OH exclamation point tote. Again, very similar silhouette. Moreau does a Saint-Tropez tote. And of course there is Ferre Lepage, which does the daily battle tote. All five of these brands, like I said, the make a tote bag in almost the exact silhouette. They all have some slight nuances. For example, Ferre Lepage is the only one that has adjustable straps. Uh, some of them do ones that have zippers that are available. So Moreau Pelli, you can get the Saint-Tropez tote in both the open version or with the zip. The Ferre Lepage, you can also get some of the sizes in a zip top. Their largest one, however, which is the size that I was interested in, doesn't come with a zippered top. So like I said, there are different, different nuances that make them slightly different, but from an overall shape perspective, they're all pretty much the same. So I ended up getting, obviously, the Saint-Tropez tote from Moreau Perry. And as you can see, I got it in the black, so it's black leather and black coated canvas. And as you'll notice, the pattern probably looks somewhat similar to you. What I think is very interesting is that Moreau Perry started this print in 1882 when they opened their, and maybe even before, I'm, I'm not sure, but when I was looking on the website and they were talking about their iconic sort of monogram print, they were referring to it when they opened the boutique on Faubourg Saint Honoré in 1882. So assuming it wasn't around before that, which it certainly could have been, it at least became into, exi into existence, like I said, no later than 1882. If you look at Louis Vuitton's history, some people will know that the monogram canvas actually, which I think more people are familiar with, was not their original print. Their original print is the Damier print, which we know comes in both the Eben and the Azur print. However, when I looked it up before I filmed this video, Georges uh, Vuitton, who was, I think, the son of Louis Vuitton, designed their Damier print in 1888, and it was actually released in 1889. So Moreau Pelli has a very, very similar print to the Damier. I would say it is, like I said, very similar in style, but theirs came first. So who copied who? Anyway, that is not why I bought this particular one. I'll go over a couple of the features that made me pick this tote over some of the others. One is the more substantial straps. So hopefully you can see that by me showing, but they are, I would say, a much thicker leather. Now it doesn't mean that it's uncomfortable or anything like that. I just felt like there was more substance to it. And when you're talking about putting perhaps a laptop in your bag or heavier items. I think you want something with a little bit more heavy straps. I have a Neverfull in the MM in the Damier Azur. Haven't seen it or used that bag since prior to August of last year because it's been in storage. So I didn't get to use it at all this summer, but 
hopefully I'll have it back soon. But my point is, is that the straps on the Neverfull are pretty thin. And I think a lot of people kind of worry, although I don't think you need to be, but you look at it and think, ooh, can I really like put everything in there? Like, does it really mean what it says with Neverfull? But anyway, the other thing I liked about it is again, this sort of substantial leather on the, I think these are called the chaps, where they are affixed to the bag. And you can actually see also on the inside, there is more leather that those are sewn onto. So I just felt like this had a lot of substantial um, craftsmanship to it. I think that the, you know, the leather trimming on it is done in an excellent way. This one, I did look at the zippered version of it, but I actually ended up liking this version, the open top a little more. So there is this little like bar and hook or bar and like loop here that you can close the bag. There is a D-ring on this side and you can buy separate pouches just like the Neverhole comes with to go inside. I wanna say they were maybe around 400, 450 euro, which will still put the price of this bag well under the price of the Neverfull, even though it comes with the pouch. It does have a zip pocket on the back here. You can see that. And it is a pretty substantial pocket. It's, you know, it goes almost all the way to the bottom of the bag. And you can see on the inside where it says Maro Pelli, and then their little emblem for the zipper pull. So I actually use this bag. I'm actually, like I said, using it right now, or it has a couple things in it. Actually, once I got through the VAT process at the airport, I immediately took my things out of that horrendous to me just in case bag that I brought on the trip. Worst mistake ever and immediately put things in here and the travel home was seamless and fantastic. This sat on top of my, you know, rolling carry-on suitcase perfectly. It didn't fall off, you know. I really do like to have bags that have that luggage sleeve on the back so that it really sits nicely on the top of your luggage, but that just in or just in case tote was ridiculous. That did not help whatsoever. In fact, if anything, it made it worse. So this was a joy to use. Like I said, I actually was using it the other day because I was running some errands in the city and had a couple of returns that I just threw in here. Obviously, like the other coated canvas bags, this is great to use in inclement weather because you don't have to worry about it getting wet. And because this is a treated leather for the handles, I don't have to worry about water spots or anything like I do when I have bags with the Vaketa. So that is the first item I got. And I will talk more about pricing and how the VAT works and pricing comparisons of European prices to the United States in an entirely separate video. But just as a little bit of a spoiler alert, this with the VAT, and with even with the conversion was well, well under 50% of the price of the Neverfull. And the second item from my trip to Europe is from Fendi. Now, I cannot believe that I forgot to include the Fendi wishlist items in my wishlist video. Like, who am I? <laughs> and I even had a list, so I don't know how that happened but there were some pieces from Fendi on that list. So let me go over those very quickly so you kind of know what I was looking for. I was interested in looking at, again, perhaps an exotic piece, so an exotic peekaboo. I was very much interested in looking at the Fendi puffer coat because I have been eyeing that coat for the past two years and I thought it would be a great coat to add to my collection living in New York with all the walking I do and I dress more casually and so, like I said, I have been eyeing that coat for the past two winter seasons. This will be the third season coming up. And I was definitely interested in any baguette, you know, whether it be one of the standard colors, whether it be one of the current seasonal colors. 
I was certainly interested in maybe another sequin baguette. You have, guys have seen me try those on at the boutique here in Soho a couple of times, I think. So those seasonal colors, especially the seasonal fuchsia, just really had my heart. So those were the kind of things that I was focused on as it related to Fendi. So let's see what I got. So I did end up getting this at Le Bon Marché at their Fendi boutique. You will have seen that I did quite a bit of shopping or looking, I should say, at the Avenue Montaigne Fendi boutique. I'm trying to think if I went into any of the others. Obviously, I went to several Fendi's while I was in London, but in Paris, I think the only one I went into, like a standalone boutique, was the Avenue Montaigne, and I was there for quite a while, tried on quite a few pieces of ready-to-wear, especially outerwear, and then I saw this, like I said, at the Le Bon Marché, and again, I'll get into the whole pricing thing, but it was definitely more advantageous for me to purchase it there, so... Let's see what I got. You can tell it's um, a little bag. It is a bag. But I got to twin with my new friend, Claire, the Fendi mini baguette in the fuchsia color. I am just in love with this color. I really, really had a hard time deciding between the sequin baguette or this Napa leather version. And I kind of went back and forth. I love, I mean, I love both the sizes in the sequin baguette. I really almost kind of loved the mini more, but I knew from when I bought my like lavender or lilac version of the mini sequin baguette that I would be afraid to carry it. Because to me, the mini bags are really meant to be carried crossbody. I mean, obviously you can carry them handheld and search, certainly in the sequin version, you would probably also carry it handheld, especially for like an evening bag. But I generally tend to carry these bags crossbody and I just worry about the wear on the sequins. And I want to wear my bags. I don't want them to just sit on a shelf looking pretty, as beautiful as the sequin bags are. I still want to wear them. So I then thought, okay, I already have the Purple Rain in the regular size baguette. Do you really want to have another sequin, you know, full size baguette as beautiful as the fuchsia is? And I know Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet just unboxed hers. So I will link Claire and Amelia's channel obviously down below so you can check out their videos. But I thought, you know what? I love the mini size. It is perfect for running around New York, like I said, especially with a crossbody strap. And so I had to get this because I love the color. So, you know, if you're not familiar with the Fendi Baguette, they just have the FF logo here on the front with a magnetic clasp. Obviously I have not yet taken the sticker off of it. And then there's just some tissue paper in there. And on the inside they have uh, in leather, these three card slots. You can definitely fit more than three cards in there. You can easily fit two, I would say per slot. So probably six. And then if you are not familiar, again, the mini baguette comes with this chain and leather strap. This is not adjustable, but obviously removable. I love the fact that it's got the leather on it because that's, you know, what sits across your shoulder and, you know, perhaps, you know, against your collarbone, which makes it a lot more comfortable to wear. So yeah, I just, I, I just, this color is amazing to me. I mean, it goes with anything. I tend to dress in neutrals and even if it's a neutral like this with a pattern, you know, with a stripe, this color goes with it. It's perfect. Okay, so here is the bag on me crossbody. It hits me just below my hip bone, which, you know, anywhere around my hip bone is the perfect crossbody length for me. Like I said, I love the fact that it's got this leather piece on it so that, you know, it doesn't rub against my collarbone. It's super comfortable, really easy to get in and out of, to get your things. I love the fact that it's got the card slots in it. So if I don't want to take a card holder and take up extra room in this bag, I can just pop my cards into that. But I just love it. And like I said, I think this looks amazing with the outfit that I have on today. This is a very... Typical outfit for me, if you're interested, I will have the items linked below. I just, I just love it. I think it looks amazing with any neutral. Obviously you could also wear it, you know, if you're wearing some bright florals, it would be amazing. 
it's just such a perfect, happy color. And I apologize, I'm actually filming in our bedroom, which is not done yet, but it does at least have a door on it. So I can film sort of in peace and quiet and I'm filming on the weekends right now. So obviously the workers aren't here, but I apologize that I don't know if you can see any of the trash that's laying around here, but a little bit of a mess, but we're making it work guys. So this is what the Fendi mini baguette looks like on me. And then here is the Moreau Pebbly Tote. I mean, you know, what more can I say? It is a great workhorse of a tote, just like the Neverfull GM would be. I think this is the perfect travel and or work bag. Like I said, I've actually used it in the city when I'm out running errands, especially if I've got a couple, like I went to the post office and I had, I think also a return that I needed to do. You know, I just popped them super easily right in here. I love the fact it's raining out in New York today. I certainly could take this out with me and I wouldn't worry about it at all. The water just, you know, beads right off. It's easily, you can just wipe it down if it gets a little wet. And because the handles, like I said, are treated, I don't have to worry about any water spots. Very, very glad I picked this up on my trip. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item that I showed you today. And also don't forget about the discount code for Vivaya. So if you are looking for some very stylish, very timeless, classic looking shoes that are also super comfortable and would be great for any kind of travel that you might have coming up, don't forget to check out the description box below. Use my discount code to get 12% off your own shoes from Vivaya. So thank you Vivaya again for gifting me these pairs of shoes. If you haven't subscribed, we would love to have you here. I am trying to get to 3000 subscribers and it really means a lot to a content creator. When you subscribe to their channel, it doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps us. So if you could hit that subscribe button, I would be greatly appreciative. And don't forget to click the notification bell because you don't wanna miss the two other reveal unboxings that I am going to do from my trip. And if you haven't had enough of me yet, I will put another video up here for you to watch. And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.